Hello everyone, Tails here, and we're back with more oxen free. Last time, shit hit the fan, time loops happened, a small creepy, not small, but a child knew our name that and about our new job that probably shouldn't, and we came up with a plan to stop all of it. This time we continue on, while I am very sick and probably going to do even worse than any kind of puzzle, so that'll be fun. Oh, uh, I do believe where is gosh, it was tab this time. That's right. They changed it. Break into general store. Get climbing gear for the night ahead. So Jacob's place. Yeah, we're heading back down. This, this is down in the... yeah. Alright. Boop. Oh! Ow! Ooh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> Careful, friend. <laughs> Hope that's not a foreshadowing anything, because I am still completely traumatized by, um... Ren slipping off the rocks and just straight up perishing in one of the timelines before. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't that way. It was up this way to the right. Hmm. I do wonder if there's going to be like a collect a thon element in this one as well. Not collect a thon, that's the wrong phrasing, but like, uh. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. wait. We have to. We have to. Whenever what? you cross the bridge, you have to spit over the side. It's good luck. Why? Huh? Why would that be? That's a... Uh, <laughs> they say you have to give an offering to, you know, gods. The gods it's want your spit? But they'll accept anything. Oh my gosh. Or so they say. Hmm. You know, it does remind me, one of the things we did learn with uh, Jacob last time is he is very superstitious, very believing in supernatural stuff that others might not otherwise. So, yeah, it makes sense he'd be thinking of that. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Rainy, I believe in you. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Oh, I never okay, would have even noticed this. Right under the mat. Real high tech security, you know. Real high tech security. Ah, some stealing gum. It's happening. Oh my God. Hmm, but which one? Winter. Uh, nope. Hell yes, and grab me a pack. Not screw it, grab me two. <laughs> we'll fun. need it. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. <laughs> Should we leave like a note or something? And what would this note say? The universe possibly collapsing and effectively rob you, hugs and kisses, shake and ride? Yeah. Sounds good. There's I like things. it. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? Go ahead. There we go. Literally stumbling around in the dark. That's interesting. And that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. It'll be fine. Try not to think about it though. Ugh. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. <laughs> now we're set. Anyways, let's just let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking <laughs> to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look right. at your map and let's pick where we want to go. Oh, hey, it's the part where we can choose the first place to go, like in the other game. 
We need to plant three more of the transmitters up and down the coast. Clear view above Edwards Island, above 3,000 feet. Uh, oh god. Oh, that's where one of them is. It looks like Charity Point to Tutega Falls and the Grand Church Architect. Oh, that sounds horrible. I don't want to go to the Grand Church Architect. Are you shitting with a ghost town? With a fucking ghost town? Oh, that's awful. Oh, uh, why don't we choose the falls? That sounds nice. That sounds like scenic, you know? It sounds like maybe not the most horrible shit in the world will happen there. <coughs> Pardon me? So, first Jacob's place, and then head right from there. It looks like it's where we'll start. Right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. I... Hey, Olivia! Oh. Olivia Massel! Are you there? Over. Oh, wait. Hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I uh. thought she sounded familiar. Heard Have the name heard before? that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their occult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her Oof. mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's some parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing. All right, Jacob, seriously, what are you suggesting here? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and Trying. what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Hmm. So, oh wait, I was fucking right with the cult. What is this? What oh, the no fuck? Way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Hmm. Something must have gone wrong with their whatever they were doing. Mel, since you didn't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I am so very sorry to say, is beyond our reach. Beyond anyone's reach. Though hypocritical for me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change how exactly you look back. Take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant. For now, it's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother. Oh. Uh, I think this is one way that can lead over. Or maybe it leads to a dead end. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. oh, hey, that's cool. Carly, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. To see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Uh. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island, is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but. No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. 
Our weather station and relay measurements are, well, the numbers are otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Of course. Yeah, Evelyn, that, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Hmm. Why does she need to know before we head out at all? Like, before we head over there at all? I guess maybe so she could get some information ready? Oh yeah, there's another sparkly. Also, I think I went the wrong way somewhere, because this is not the way to Jacob's. Anna. Who was Anna? Jay. It was an accident, a careless mental mistake, two syllables, but you're not wrong. Anna is never far from my thoughts, her name never far from my lips, clearly. Do not think this is by choice. So much of my life is not by choice. So much of all of life, or so I tell myself. I wish I could tell you it will never happen again. I wish I could tell you many things, M. Oh, that's right, um... So after the last game, I remember I noted that there was a uh, Morris code going on and um, it probably translated into something and it totally did uh, from what I saw on um, fan stuff. No, I can't interact with this they, at all. Uh, okay. When they hired me for this, they oh. said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And I said... All we can tell you is that she used to live here, and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. And, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. <laughs> I, uh, guess I just needed a reset. I didn't have a permanent address, and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Hmm. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the... how's he doing? Still an electrician? Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. Yeah, we had Sorry answered that. that earlier. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you uh, came back for... Sorry, dude, I need to see where the f Oh, right, right, I need to do the cave down below. And I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. <laughs> but it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Can only go up from here, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. No, it could definitely get worse. Going by Alex and, um, and Jonah's adventure, uh, it could get worse. But, uh, oh, the, the Morris code seems to have been from Anna on the other side of the portal, trying to reach out to Margaret, which is especially sad when you realize that in the time we were receiving it, Margaret had already passed away. Total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now, uh, this situation. A country song. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. There's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. <laughs> Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. Turned out it was me. And like, n not a mirror, it was another me. Only he didn't have a face. Oh. And then I reached out to see if I did, but Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Hmm. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that just came to me right now. Just 
Pops out of nowhere. Sorry. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. Hmm. You're a little hard on yourself, my dude. Yeah, okay. No, 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 don't immediately go to the wrong place. Again. I will do it if not stopped, though. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. And it was like the big open cave mouth or something, right? Okay. Above the waterfall and bridge. That's right. We have to cross the slippery rocks that Jacob almost fell off of. God, I don't want to go to the fucking ghost town. Hey, I was meaning to ask. When you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. All right. I saw that. Probably. The sculpture. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon me. Uh-huh. 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 What? Might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. Oh shit, so, I didn't think about that. Thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? <laughs> Under the sun, I'm all ears. Air uh, I liked what I, you had so far. Genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Yes, it's well, done. I genuinely, objectively, uh, uh, the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. <laughs> I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. It's a work in progress, both the sculpture and the branching. I'm proud Maybe of you. Someday it'll leave the bedroom. We have should. The world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. We should move that uh, fucking ladder, my dude. All right, yep. Head to the right. Maybe. <laughs> Wonderful word. Yeah, how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. Such a gentle way. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But I get it, dude. It can be hard. Especially with a more experimental piece to let that out into the world. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. We're close to the falls? How close? Uh, close. Another few city blocks. Ooh. And with the slopes, it might feel like more than a few, but, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Oh... God, the art direction in this is gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, hey, I can go. Hey, uh, Evelyn, have you been experiencing something like... It's like I'm redoing the previous couple of minutes a few times. Like, deja vu, but worse. Over. Hey, Riley. Um... Uh, not really. 
We've been experiencing a lot of technical hiccups, but not a lot of whatever you're describing. Huh. I assume you are, though. Or else you probably wouldn't be asking. Over. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. But if you don't have any other information or anything, it's, uh, you know, I'll just deal with it. Over. Okay, Riley. Ring me if you need anything. Sorry I couldn't help you with this. Over and out. Hmm. Ate that. Hmm. Up at the 11. Nothing and nothing. Max Prince on the mound for the Anteaters. Grant's up for the crayfish. Grant having a time. Can I not? Oh, I have to jump across that way for it. Potluck. This is Let's Eat, damn it. So, if you were listening earlier, we went over the ingredients for the. <laughs> that which we can see, and that which we cannot see. Life is an ocean of light and dark. Light guides us through the day. Mm. Watches over us. Ooh, hey, careful. Man, I don't know how you do this so fast. We're disciples of parentage. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Take piano lessons. Will you be like? Will you be mm. like, me? like you, excuse me? What the fuck? Excuse me? What the fuck? Dude, are you okay? Um, sir? No, thank you. Hmm. No. Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Mm. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> for me. Of course. Uh, why are we not taking that way down over there? Alright, I'll check it out later, I guess. Hey, you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> sure. Sure. And running a mile is my happy place. Yeah. Okay. Whoop, there we go. Oh, that's because I would have the end. Not too shabby. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be banging my knees against the wall so much, but yes, I survived. Right. Oh, hey, hi. That's Olivia's friend, Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Jacob, wait. Let's stick together. He has something. Hi, dude. Wait. Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady, you and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Gingerbread. Okay, things are gonna happen. Seriously. Will you just shut up, dude? Wait, come on. Let's let's work something out. Open the gate, and we'll. I'll. I. I, I have money. How about that? Twenty. 17 bucks? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not 10. He's not this 10. Is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing. Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. Don't think we don't know you're up to something. We'll get it's him. okay. We'll get him next time. There has to be another way. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. What if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier? <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. 
Sorry, dude. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. He's so young. They all are. It's crazy. Yeah, they're just brainwashed students. You just better Oops. hope and pray we don't run into him again. <laughs> there we go. So Olivia's family was like a cult, and you it looks like she's dragged some friends stuff, into it. Right? What, what stuff? stuff? Oh, you know, like general athletics, hiking, basic training stuff. Was this like part of what you, uh, what what you did in the military? I was in the military. This sort of thing. Was this like part of your training? Uh, no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He'd teach me basic survival tricks, how to make fire from ice, crap like that. He was just kind of one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a, if you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 you're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. Mm. Jesus, what mm. happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling, Looks like both. seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger! Are you... uh... in the bathroom? No? Crap. Oh, no. There's broken glass over here. That guy... God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. He... oh god, why'd he trash everything else? Is there a phone? There has to be. We might be able to call out. Oh yeah, there should be one... Under something. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Uh... I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Uh... Anyone there? We're not set up for assisted speech. If you're... You're a Park Ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell to her what's going on. Fires have started. Uh -huh. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, Shelly, I know what you're talking about, but it's it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Uh, Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. Ooh. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. All right. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations, but you got oh. these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. <laughs> so you'll help? So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell. We have to provide our own pens. I have to go check something yeah, else, what? but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Oh! You in a second. I can, like, gain other contacts! Okay. That's cool. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know Whew. if we'll find the Park Ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. Wait, squirrel? What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? Rip. 
A little plaque says Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. I'm sure there is. What happened to the park ranger though, y'all? Hey, when you said your dad took you hiking, sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were- Sir, uh, you just asked this. I was at the grocer and he was before me in line and the clerk asked about you or something. And uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something. Oh. Is there a story there or- My mom wanted me in a, it's a dead soldier. No. It's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, oh. that's, that's cool. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you, I guess you just enlisted and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap for what it's worth. Mm. I'm sure he was proud. I'm sure he was telling every mechanic and bag boy that his little girl was going to be raining napalm on bad guys any day now. I disappointed him eventually, but at least he got that morning, right? I'm sure he's, yeah. Oh, Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. Hmm. Ingrid, I've never been nor will I ever be pregnant. So I can't say I understand Marigold's struggle, but I do sympathize. We plan our lives and then things happen. You say parentage helped her and her husband accept the birth of Olivia, that they provided a structure for chaos of early parenthood. But Olivia is a person, not a problem to be solved. How will this structure affect her own life? I enjoy our talks, but I think we should not discuss parentage anymore. I admittedly struggle when the... Oh, topic is broached, as I don't wish to offend, but I find no sense or harmony in the stars. They are celestial giants beyond my understanding, who do not know or care that I am here. It only saddens me how you see them, Ingrid. It saddens me to think how Olivia will see them. Not as they are, but as reflections of herself. So parentage is the cult, and Olivia was born into it, and they didn't want her to be, which is rough. Which is very rough. Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, um, just out of curiosity, where are you right now? Over. I'm at the Oberon outpost, 15 and three quarter miles from you. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. Hey, you do the same. Over and out. All right, sounds that good. She seems nice. If Ranger Shelly actually helps us, sure, very nice. <laughs> very fair. All right, and that's where we will end the episode for today. We got more stuff done. It seems like hopefully we can actually fill up like all of these with friends. Oh, there's more to do. So uh, hopefully we'll actually get to use the radio again more. I forgot that it was even there. But everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to discover more of this with all of you. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next episode. So remember, stay safe, stay sane, and above all, stay kind. Bye bye.